Alright, so today I got a request to do more simple video. I got a request to do an input output video. So I'm gonna do that right now and I'll get back to the swing videos after this. Alright, so I'm just gonna do a simple input video. And you you can use any editor for this, I'll just use Eclipse. It's my favorite. Alright, we create a new class here, call it IO, and we put it in here, so, now we have our basic class, and we can start off by creating a main, public static void main, and For input output, you need you need to import the following. Well, you can use either scanner or buffer reader, but I'm gonna use buffer reader because it's 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 more effective in my opinion. So you can use scanner as well. It's just the same thing. So uh, you need to import Java dot io dot star. All right, so. You import that. For scanner, you need to import the scanner, but I'm not going to do scanner. I find this more effective. Alright, so, first thing we need to do is we need to make a buffer reader and an input stream reader. Those are the two things that are going to be used for getting the input. So to make them, we just create them like a normal object, like any object in Java, and just go input stream reader. And we, call, we can call our input stream reader anything. ISR is equal to new input stream reader. Same way I'm just going to create a buffered reader. Buffered reader BR is equal to new buffered reader. Okay, so now this is the basic method of creating an object in Java. So we have the we have our two input stream reader and buffered reader. Okay, so inside this Okay, so now we're going to put something inside of them, and actually we have to make this one after this one. So in this one we put system.in, which means it's just going to be getting info from the user, and in this one we place this whole thing, so in the brackets we just put ISR. Alright, so now we have our two objects. Now it's really easy if you want to read the lo read the line. So first of all, you create a string to hold your input. Okay, there, there's your there's your string to hold your input. Now we'll just create a little output here, and we'll ask for the user's name. And now all we do is we just take this input variable and we just use these these two objects basically this object because this holds this in it you could have done both of these in one line as well but I was just trying to show you how to do it here so now all you do is input equals br dot read line okay so all that does is it takes this and it reads this line and I'm just gonna use throws IO exception here but All right, so you have to put this at the begin at the after your main or after your, the beginning of your method uh, because it th it just throws an unknown like, an input output exception. Okay, so this reads the line, and then we're just gonna print the name out. All right. So, and also, it's important to notice how to input numbers, because if you want to input a number and you want to add things to it, you can't do that with a string like this, so let me just show you how to do that too, in number is equal to zero, you can't, it, in this case, you can't read as a number, you have to read as a string, so I'll show you how to change from a string to an int, and all you do is you just go input is equal to read, Sorry, br dot read line, and and then to change from the 
string from this string to number all you do is number equals integer dot parse int okay and you just parse that input all right there you go and now you can do whatever you want with the number number plus 10 actually system dot out dot print line number plus 10 okay so there you go and now we can run our program too just to check it alright it's gonna come down here uh, so we put our name so it print, prints out our name and then we put a number it's gonna add 10 to it so let's say our number is 5 and it adds 10 to it it's 15 alright so that, that is basic input output um, somebody asked me to make a video on this so next video I'll be back to uh, swing and I'll be showing you how to create how to organize your objects in a swing window alright